Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take value from text field to a variable and how to show that value in a label or you can show that value in a text field or you can just take that value to pop-up window like a message box. Let me get started with that. So first we need is what? Text box. Okay. So here text box is here and what we need to do is whenever we write something in this it should be kept in the variable or it should be okay it should be kept in the variable so that we can insert into the database or we can perform any other operation whatever we want and let me take one button so that on that click event we can perform such function okay <clears throat> Now, uh, whatever you need is just in the toolbar. And if your toolbar is not visible, you just need to go and click on this. And here you can search for whatever you need. Here it is toolbar. And just click on this or solution page. If this is missing, then this is called solution explorer. And here you can see this is here. Just need to uh, click away. Let me show you how it actually works. Now I have started this project. And here text field is there and button we haven't code anything so it's not going to work anyway so let me show how to do this what we need is whenever we write something in this it should be kept in the variable so how this is going to be performed okay so what we need is we need one level 2 okay so we need this that whenever we write something in this text box and click on this button this data needs to be shown here so how this can be possible first of all just <coughs> remove it okay so what we need is we need the button click event to generate button click event just double click on this and here the click event is generated you can also change the button name as per your preference keep it in simple ways that you can remember easily uh, to change this button name here it's actually show let me keep it show and design name to code in the background this is design name i have already generated this event so i'm not going to change it but you can change it as per your requirement okay so what we need is first let me check the name of this text field uh, text field name is text box one this is the design name okay uh, let me show you one more thing <coughs> uh, we need we can put uh, some text in background okay uh, please okay enter some text like that Now let me show you what happened. There is something by default. You can just type it, and it will be just removed. Okay. Then we what we need is first we need the text. What is inside it should be in a variable. For that, uh, we need to just write this code here. As first we take is what a variable that is string type string something value i guess is equal to we need we have created a string and what we need is value of this text field so text field name is text box one and dot what we need from the text box is text the semicolon here we go now whatever we type on this and now whenever we click on the show button the text is going to be stored in this variable and whatever we want to do with this value we can do now let me show let me remove this okay so start with this now it's saving behind this but we cannot see it now let me show you let me put a okay let me put a breakpoint. I'm 
just taking it for nothing just doing this to make a break point you can check it by yourself and now I'm starting it and <clears throat> it's actually a break point whenever the code reaches here it's stop stop doesn't mean this terminate the program it's this pause now let me show how actually it works I'm entering here Rahul okay I'm clicking on this show and here we can see what happened what the value is the string which we have created now have the value Rahul which we have entered that value in our <coughs> sorry and now with the text box okay now this is confirmed that our value is in now variable now okay so what we need we need to put that value into this level so how to do that now just type level dot text is equal to value this is it now whatever we type in here that is Rahul and show here we can see that name change accordingly okay okay now we can show the value whatever is entering in this text in here and now we want one more thing that how to show this data into the message box that is also simple just type message box sorry message box dot show and <clears throat> in that this pass the value okay now start this and have you will see the difference here is Kumar into the level and this is the message box actually whatever important uh, data you want to be to can be written here like Suppose you have already written in lines of code to insert the data into the database. This this message box will work as to show the user that your data is saved. For that, you just need to write it in double quotes. Your data is saved like that, and we just need to click on this and let me show. Here I am, and just click on this. So that I saved and show here I am as is on the level. So thanks for watching, and please do subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. And if you need any particular video, please do comment, and please don't forget to subscribe, and please check go and check our playlist. We have made projects on hospital management system and other also you can also uh, get the source code just comment your email id in the description uh, in the comment box and please stay tuned to our channel